welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of silent shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. So let me set the scene for you. You're in a bar, you're in the cutest outfit you own, you see someone you're attracted to, this is your moment, you bravely go over and you talk to them. But how on earth do you know if they're attracted to you or not? Well, our brain gives off some involuntary signals that gives us some clues to whether the person we fancy fancies us back. And I'm not just talking about someone twiddling their hair as they talk to you or laughing excessively over every stupid joke you make. These are some signals that your brain gives off to let someone know that you fancy them. And a pretty telltale sign is all in the eyes because your pupils dilate when you're talking to someone you're attracted to. And there's two reasons to this. One of them being we want to get as much information in as possible about the thing we're interested in. And in this case, it's the person you're talking to. And the second reason is we want to look more attractive and humans tend to find things more attractive if they've got bigger pupils. Our pupils also dilate when we're in darker environments, meaning a candlelit dinner is the perfect place to get to know someone. The dilation of our pupils might also be explained by the release of the brain chemical dopamine. When we're talking to someone we're interested in, our brain releases the chemical dopamine and this makes us feel good. Dopamine also makes our pupils dilate. We'll also start copying one another because this is a sign of empathy and that we want to form a social bond. So we start mirroring each other's body language, facial expressions and speech patterns. And this happens super fast. Within 20th of a second of meeting someone you're interested in, you would have started copying them. Mirroring behaviour is a sign of intimacy and empathy and it uses our frontal cortex and a set of neurons called mirror neurons and this helps to form bonds with one another. So next time you go to chat someone up, have a look at their pupils and see whether they're copying you. And that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. Stay tuned for next time.